In the history of Minecraft, there were a lot of good updates dedicated to some biomes and dimensions. Aquatic update themed for water. Nether update completely changed the nether. Caves and cliffs changed the generation of caves and made them bigger. There was also the village and pillage update which changed the villages and added the pillagers. The wild update added a new swamp biome and an underground dungeon with a portal that doesn't work, as well as its guard, a new mob called the Warden. But after update 1.20, many may be wondering what, in essence, it added. New armour, a new biome, two mobs that no one will use and archaeology, which I had high hopes for, but turned out to be absolutely useless. In this video, I will try to figure out what they can add in update 1.21. Let's start with what a lot of people already want. This is the Ender update. The end dimension was added in the 1.0 update back in 2011 and extended to 1.9 in 2016. This update added islands outside the island of the Ender Dragon. New dungeon, Elytra, new mob, Shulker and Chorus was added. This made players explore the world even after killing the Ender Dragon. But the years went by and the end was rather empty and boring. There is nothing here but Endermen, Chorus and dungeons that's all there is in this world. Update 1.21 should make the end look like this. The next thing I would like to talk about is ambient. Ambient is very important for the perception of the world of the game. I really hoped that it would be added in the second part of Caves and Cliffs or in the Wild Update, but this did not happen. Just listen to how the game is perceived without ambient and with it. As you can see with Ambient, the world of Minecraft becomes much more lively and pleasant. I would also like various small details like falling leaves, water effects and sounds. And add some sounds to the menu. Ancient City update would be logical in 1.21. Remember I said about the broken portal? So I'm waiting for a new dimension which will be harder than Nether and End. And as the Mojang themselves said, they want to add a new boss. He would fit perfectly in that dimension. Do you have a plan for adding a new boss? Make it as gloomy as the Ancient City and add new mobs that will only be found in this dimension. In order for players to have a goal to go to this dimension, there must be some special loot, a new ore like ancient debris or a new item that will drop from mobs. Add dungeons with good loot. It is possible to add a boss to this dungeon, he will be stronger than the Varden so they guarded this portal so as not to awaken him. Finally add the bundles. Mojang have been promising their addition for a long time. In 2020, the Caves and Cliffs presentation showed bundles that could carry 64 items from different categories. This would help carry small items and not fill up the inventory. But unfortunately, they still have not been added. Hope it will be added soon. Add variations of vanilla mobs. Chicken, cows, pigs, sheep, zombies, and other mobs will differ from each other only in appearance, which will make them less the same and monotonous. I think more vanilla tools should be added. I don't understand why there are no emerald tools and obsidian tools. Copper ore was also deprived. It is almost never used in crafting, so why not add tools from it? Adding new tools and armor would be a nice addition to some big update. The desert update would be a great update because it's too empty. It has hardly been updated in the history of Minecraft. In update 1.20, camels were added. 
that's all the developers decided to diversify the desert with. Four years ago, the Mojang wanted to update the desert and gave the players a choice of which biome to update, but nothing was added. Our deserts have always felt a little... In need of refreshment? No, in need of palm trees and some friendly guides to keep things interesting. Yeah. Let's start with the renewal that lies on the surface. This is the nature update. Why exactly this? This update will finally add ambient sounds, such as birds singing in the forest, wind sounds in the mountains, reworked rain sound, sounds crickets at night, water sounds and more. Also in the natural renewal, forests, oak and birch must be updated. Firstly, yes, it is definitely necessary to update the tree variations and what Mojang was shown in concept art. There are not enough various mushrooms in the forest. With their help, it would be possible to add a new potion branch. Yes, developers rarely add interesting effects. You can make it so that from some kind of luminous mushroom, the player could highlight the nearest peaceful mobs in the region of 30 blocks. But you can come up with a bunch of effects and you can actually come up with a lot of ideas with this. It all depends on Mojang's imagination. I would also like fallen trees like in Bedrock, I still don't understand why they are not added. Speaking of mobs, I would like to see a deer. There is a deer in almost all survival games but it is not in Minecraft. But I don't want Mojangs to add mobs just for beauty, like a polar bear. New mobs should have functionality like deer skin. If it is processed, it will be possible to make a buddle, which Minecraft developers cannot add for about three years. Its meat will replenish four satiety scales, and you can come up with the rest of its functions and write in the comments. We were also shown this edition of Fireflies in Minecraft Live 2021. But later for some reason they cancelled this idea, it's a pity. Because Fireflies would add their own flavour to the game. Oh, oh my god, god, that is so cool. My friend is a firefly. <laughs> they are literally just two floating <laughs> pixels that blink. <laughs> and we're just like, guys, yeah. my god. We could have done okay, but they look so good. The frogs are murdering them! Oh my god! <laughs> 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 Wait, what? That was so cool. The birch forest should be like the concept art. It looks very nice. Flowers that are found exclusively in the cherry blossom biome should also be found in a regular forest, or rather their forest variation. I would like to be able to put moss vertically on a block instead of just horizontally on the floor and have it spawn in the forest. As well as the forest, the beach needs to be updated. The addition of a palm tree and a coconut would be a nice innovation. On the beaches there can be such mobs as crab and seagull. And finally, the addition of birds to the game. They have not been added since the addition of a parrot. Perhaps they will not have great functionality, but they will greatly enliven the world of Minecraft and fit perfectly into this update. If you have any ideas what birds can really bring to the game, write them in the comments, it will be interesting for me to read. I think all of us have tried to do this at one time or another. Of course I'm talking about the portal to heaven. This mod was created over 10 years ago and players have always wanted to add it, and everyone did not understand why we have hell, but not heaven. Although I don't think that Paradise will ever be added to the game, because it seems too non-vanilla and labour-intensive, I always have some hope that time will pass and we will see a new dimension called Paradise. Dungeon Redesign I think that the old dungeons need to be updated, they look too boring. Corey once said that they want to upgrade the Nether Fortresses, only the Desert Pyramid remained. Does anyone even remember about the Jungle Dungeon? The Desert Pyramid, although it was updated in 1.20, it added a small room for archaeology but it looks very boring. It should be updated, made bigger and more interesting. Scatter the chests in different parts, and not just in one place, so that the player explores it completely, rather than breaking one block in the centre and taking all the loot in a couple of seconds. Mojang added armour customization in 1.20, but for some reason didn't add it for elytras. Why were they ripped off? Elytra customization would look very nice, 
I would like spiders to learn to climb walls. It would look natural because all spiders can climb walls in real life. But Mojang said that it would be too scary and they would not do it. Okay, I understand that a lot of children play Minecraft. But Mojang, what do you think about this? Ah! Oh! It's right there! It's right there! That's the word. Where is he? <laughs> Minecraft horror- Oh, he's sprinting! Oh my gosh! Bro, I didn't know man had- Man- Oh my gosh, man's fast! Holy moly! Ah! Finally add the ability to stack slabs on top of each other. In Minecraft, it is not possible to put a different type of slab on a slab. The addition of this function greatly diversifies the construction. Also, I would like slabs to be able to stand upright instead of just horizontally. Builders would love this update. Since I'm a big fan of winter and winter holidays, I would like to see a winter update in the next update. In the caves and cliffs update, very beautiful mountains were added, which made me very happy. On the mountains, we can meet a new block, powder snow. The developers even added a new freezing effect. The mountain biome is very beautiful and realistic, but if you look at other winter biomes, they don't look as good. Snowy Plains and Snowy Tiger are just cool variations of warm biomes. The only structure is the igloo, and two mobs are the polar bear, which gives us raw fish instead of meat. And Stray, a winter version of the skeleton that shoots slow arrows. And that's about all winter biomes have to offer. Empty biomes that players most often just run past in search of a better home. Three years ago at Minecraft Live 2020, we were offered to vote on new mobs, Ice Logger, Glow Squid, and Moo Bloom. I voted for Ice Logger, but Glow Squid won. Ice Logger is that winter mob that would diversify the world of Minecraft. Iceologers would spawn in mountains and ice spikes and hurl ice clouds at the player and would make these biomes even more challenging. This mob had really great potential, but unfortunately Mob Vote 2020 was rigged by Minecraft Star Dream. He asked his massive fan base to vote for Glow Squids. Speaking of blocks, I'd like a completely snow-covered grass block. Yes, if you put snow on a block of grass, it will turn into snow. But the problem is that if you put, for example, a button or a fence on top, we can see green grass, and this looks very strange. We need a separate snow-covered block that will remove this problem. The next thing I would like to see is different layers of snow. Minecraft has a mechanic of filling the cauldron with snow, and it would be cool if when it snowed, the layer of snow would rise and it would look much more beautiful and realistic. Also in winter biomes, I would like to see a new block, frozen stone. It has a nice blue color, and it would be possible to make different types of stone from it. I would also like new variations of ice. Polished ice and ice bricks looks really cool. I would also like the snow that we put on the block to interact with it. It would not stand out from the vanilla Minecraft, but rather complement it. Also, snow must have the ability to pass through blocks. For example, it can fill the fence without breaking it. If you break a block under the snow, the snow will fall down instead of breaking. And if the snow falls on the water, it will freeze. I would also like the steps to become snowy if snow falls on them. Green foliage in winter biomes should be replaced with snow. Looks much prettier and feels like real winter here. I would also like to see a new effect, freezing. If fired from a bow with the new freeze enchantment, then the mobs would freeze and take damage, the same as from fire. Speaking of structures, I would add a small fisherman's settlement that would be located in the frozen ocean and all villagers would sell or buy fish. Another cool solution would be to add a separate variation of winter mobs. They would have snow on top, which in turn would make the game more immersive. In the desert, we have husk. It inflicts a hunger effect when he hit you. In winter biomes, there should be its analog, a frozen zombie like in Minecraft dungeons. On impact, it would inflict a frostbite effect for a couple of seconds. The archer's table was added to the game in the 1.14 village and pillage update but so far no functionality has been added to this block. We have functionality for every villager blocks, but not for the archer table. Mojang will fix this in the next updates. Jungle update is the next update I would like to see. Let's start in the villages. There are only five types of villages in Minecraft. These are desert, plains, savanna, snowy, and tiger village. As you already understood, the jungle village is not in the game. Jungle update should fix this. Villages can be both on the ground and in trees. New dungeons should also be added. They will be very rare and it will be quite difficult to get loot from these dungeons because hostile mobs with traps and poisoning will be waiting inside the dungeons. Chests will be scattered throughout the dungeon so you will have to explore them in full. Speaking of mobs, I'd like to see monkeys. They could climb walls like spiders. 
They could be fed and tamed with bananas. They would also steal things that are on the floor. Gorillas would also diversify the animal world of the jungle. They could eat leaves and various foods. The mob that I've been waiting for a long time is Medusa. It will live both in the oceans and in cave lakes. In the cave, they will be more white, and in the ocean, they will be different colors. Loot from them will be something like a piece of pearlescent nematocyst, which can be placed and it will emit light. You can also make a block from it. It will also emit light and will look like water, only it will not spill. Drops will drip from it as if it is liquid. If we talk about biomes in Minecraft in general, then Mojang said that they will update each biome. Hello? Um, so it's up to you to decide which biome we update first. They have already updated the mountains where they added a beautiful generation and a new mob, a goat. Swamp biome where they added a new generation, new trees and a new mob, a toad. Tiger, where they added a fire, berries and a new mob, a fox. It remains to update the rest of the biomes that they showed. This is the desert where we saw a new tree, palm and a new mob, meerkat. Badlands, where you can see a new cactus and a new mob, a hawk. So the Mojang still want to add birds, and this makes me happy. Savannah, where you can see a new tree, baobab, and the new mob, ostrich. I also do not understand why the mobs that were in the vote disappear forever. We're gonna let you choose which one of these four Minecraft mobs that will end up in the game. And remember to vote, because the three ones that you don't vote for, they will be gone forever. Why don't they add them all over time? Because of this vote, we have already lost so many good mobs that would improve Minecraft. This is a master place, which body parts look like shields that will be used to defend itself. The Hovering Inferno spawns with a group of blazes as a random encounter in the nether. The Great Hunger. This cute looking mob has a huge mouth and a great appetite for enchanting powers. It will open its huge jaw and sink into the ground where it camouflage itself. Any mobs or items that fall into its mouth will be consumed. The monster of the ocean depths. The monster will attack you with its tongue-like tentacle to pull you down and drown you. It spawns in deep waters and uses its large mouth to propel itself forward. You should vote for this mob because the oceans currently don't have that much content and it would make it more exciting when traveling from island to island. Just imagine what would happen if all these mobs were added to the game. How many different situations they could bring to Minecraft. Mobs like Moobloom, Ice Logger, Rascal, and Tough Golem will also be forgotten and that makes me sad. Of course, this is not all that Mojangs can add to Minecraft. And perhaps all this can be added not only in 1.21 but also in 1.22, 1.23 and more. Thank you all for watching. If you liked my video, please subscribe and like. Thank you. Bye.